Then here you can see the rebreather, which the uh, cover is actually taken off. Uh, you can see two cylinders here. One's oxygen and one's breathing air. Now I believe one cylinder is for using for your BCD. And the center one is a scrubber, which is basically like a lime that looks like cat litter. And this is what sort of scrubs your carbon dioxide, what you breathe out. And it just circulates the air. And if the via sensors that you need more O2, um, it um, injects um, oxygen into the rebreather so you can just carry on breathing. And the advantage of this device is that you can, I believe, go deeper and dive for longer. Now, as I said, I'm not fully understanding of the rebreather. I've, as I said, this is like a tri dive, um, as one of our members had this and was explaining it to us. So it's quite interesting. Um, but the rebreather, it's, as I said, it's very quiet. There's no bubbles. It'd be ideal if you're into photography for marine life. Um, it seems very complex, um, very, ex well, I think that brand new is quite expensive. Um, so this is just a not great opportunity for me to uh, try the, uh, a rebreather for the first time. Um, would I get one? I don't think so. It's definitely beyond my budget and it's more for technical diving. Now you can see the, this is the loop where the mouthpiece is where you breathe and this is where the loop, I believe, your air that you breathe out, the carbon dioxide gets scrubbed and it just somehow cleans up and just recirculates uh, for you to breathe again and just carry on breathing. Now I said, um, I've never done this before. It was quite interesting, very weird. And you see in the video, the mouthpiece was, or the hose was at an angle. I was holding it or gripping it with my dear life because I've been told that if I let go, of the mouthpiece and any water gets into it, it could actually damage the uh, rebreather. Now in the scrubber, you have sensors, which the next picture will show you um, has sensors. I, I don't fully know how they all work. Um, it's beyond my knowledge. Just thought I'd give you an insight what it'll like. That sort of screws off or comes off the scrubber, that gray thing that you're seeing. And next you see me underwater with a rebreather looking very uncomfortable. Not the greatest footage, I admit. Um, a mask is <laughs> steamed up. Um, I was scared to clear it, not scared to clear it, I just was concentrating so much on the actual keeping the mouthpiece in my mouth. Uh, my buoyancy is not that great. I'm just getting used to the device. Um, as you can see, the, my buddy over in the background, just keeping an eye, on, eye out. Um, safety because this is the first time I've actually used it. I felt quite comfortable in it once I got used to it. As you can see, it's it's got the cover on the back. It's nice and yellow. No bubbles. Silent. It felt like it feels like it's not working, but it is. It's pretty pretty impressive how it works. Still can't get my head around it to be honest. So just me, just um, swimming around, getting used to it. Um, using the BC, um, trying to use the BCD uh, to get my buoyancy, but I never got it right in the end. So basically, if you get any chance of to get a tri dive and a rebreather, I definitely would recommend it because it's a totally different experience. Different experience. As you can see, the mouth, the hose is at a funny angle. I don't know why. I think it's set it up for the actual person who owns this so sometimes I'm just standing so just trying to listen for the noise and the only noise you hear is once the uh, device or sensors pick up that you need more oxygen it squirts in and it just builds up I, I believe there's a constant you've got a console in your hand that tells you the way you set it up what setup you have again I, I'm not fully aware of the, how, how it works as a four foot this video will be interested Interesting for anyone who's probably want to do a try dive with a rebreather. Just a bit of insight. Of course, just don't go out and buy one. If you have no training, you definitely need a different type of training. It's totally different than your, um, your recreational diving. Definitely need training, especially for the setup and emergencies. I believe when they actually go diving, you have a, a bailout, which is an extra cylinder on your side. If there's any complications with the rebreather, then you just can alternate with that. There's me 
poor attempt of trying to clear my mask. Just swimming around the swimming pool, just trying to get used to it. There's me stopping, just trying to listen to any sound, which is just quite unusual. Not hearing any bubbles blow it away. Let's try and fix that mouthpiece, as I said, had a death grip on it. As I don't want it to um, come out of my mouth, because it was pulling. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you thought this uh, video was useful um, or informative. You ever thought what um, Breebreather is? I said I don't have full knowledge. If I said something wrong in this video, I do apologize to any Rebreathers. I said this is the first time I've used it and I thought it might be interesting for some of my subscribers who probably haven't done Rebreathing before. Okay, so that's coming up to the end of the uh, video, as I said, I hope you thought this useful. Until then, uh, safe diving.